hi everybody welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs it's Barbie here and today I have another fun little Christmas ephemera project and I'm making it um, with these bingo sheets that are all they come as one and I've had these in my use it up drawer for quite some time and I figured it was time to use them up so I'd love to have you stick around and see um, what I did, what I used, um, how I came up with the design, and we'll go from there. So let's get started. Um, let me show you, let me show you first, I'll do a little run through, and then we're going to glitter up some of these really sweet little snowflakes here. So like I said, this is the bingo sheet. I already have one made. I'm just going to make one today. Um, I will show you how I folded that we're going to set that aside over here but let me show you this here so inside is just a nice little pocket and i love the bingo numbers behind it um here i just used some washi tape on top i i cut a piece for the back folded the washi tape over that um, you have your tim holtz paper dolls these are also tim holtz um, little pieces of, of ephemera here. Um, I have a cute little Brad. This here, um, I don't know if I'm going to use it on this one, but I want to show you. I can put my, it's actually um, this here. It's where I punched these snowflakes out in my die cut machine. And I do like using these. I don't like to throw them away because they can always be incorporated in some manner or fashion um, just to add some texture or just to break up with a little white spot or, you know, whatever paper you use. Um, and then I have these really pretty um, vintage uh, postcards from Christmas that I would like to start featuring in my journals. And I just have this little tab here. I, I glittered up this snowflake. Um, I used to use glitter a lot when I made, I made some beautiful garlands for gals. It's what I did most of the time um, through Instagram. And I have a lot of um, glitter left over. And I really want to start incorporating it again in some of my pieces. So this Christmas card here is from 1912. Um, Atlantic City, December 25th. Merry Xmas from Frank, Elsa, and the children. Um, and this went to a gal by the name of Janet in New Jersey. I loved how back then there was really no street address. Uh, it just looks like it's from Linwoods or it's going to Linwoods, New Jersey. No zip code, no nothing. And they all got their mail, um, different times back then. So I, I'm putting my postcards that I have in the back here. And I just think it's really, I just think they're really sweet. Um, and then if I want to add a little journaling card, I can in the back, um, to make a note, but I just, I like that little bit behind it. So I thought we would make one of these today. And um, the first thing I want to do is I want to glitter up. I have two snowflakes here that I've already glittered and I'm letting them dry to use on my new postcard. A lot of people are afraid of glitter. They think, oh my gosh, it's too messy. It gets all over the place. I just want to show you how easy and simple it is to glitter something up. Um, I've been doing this a long time. I used to paint. Um, if I was making a vintage style uh, garland, I made three, five, seven, and nine pennant garlands for ladies who wanted them. And I used to take um, my vintage Christmas cards and I would fussy cut around them. And then I would glitter all of these up in different shades of green. And then they would go on the uh, each individual pennant. And they were actually quite stunning. Um, so I've, I've glittered and glittered and glittered and glittered. 
So I just want to show you, I like to use, um, this is the Royal Coat um, Decoupage, which is a glue. It's When I started out, this was full, and I do have quite a bit left. But again, I just want to show you, some, some gals use the plastic container, and then I have one here. I didn't pull it out. I don't use that. They have a plastic tray. And then there's a little nubby on the end. They glitter in that. And then they pour it out. The problem with that is the glitter sticks to the plastic tray and you can't get it all out. I like to take just a scrap piece of paper. I just pulled this out of my, out of my garbage can. And then I make a nice tight crease in it. Um, and I get a, depending on what you're glittering up, I like to work with a small paintbrush. Um, this looks like it's a number, I don't know if it's a three or an eight, I don't know, but it's tiny. And I just get my glue on here. And then for something like this being, being small, um, I'll hold on to one end of the flake here and I just get it painted up with my glue. Some people set these down on the table or their workspace. I don't like to do that because if you do that and then you glitter over it, um, you're going to get glitter on the underside of it. Um, the glitter is going to stick to your paper. You're not going to be able to get it all up. Um, trying to think what other downsides are. And that's where the mess comes in. So I'm glittering right up to just this little spot that I'm holding here. Just making sure my glue and I have enough on for it to hold. And then the glitter I use, this is old. This is a Martha Stewart. This is coarse crystal glitter. This has a shaker and then it has, you can see a top here. I'm using, I'm using this whole top and I just put a good amount on it. And I just want to make sure that's all covered. Then I just turn it over, tap it. Then to get, so you can see I have that one little spot. Now, if you're careful, you can, you know, you can hold it like this, but I would flip it. I'd end up turning it and flipping it. So I just grab my tweezers and I just come in a little bit. And I get a little bit of my glue here. I finish up, do my last little bit, and it's all glittered up nice. And then you can just set it aside and um, let that dry. So it really doesn't take any time at all and no mess. So then when you're done with your glitter, please don't try to put the glitter back in the hole. You're going to want to take Take your top off here. I know it seems so elementary and um, to explain this, but sometimes you just they're like, oh, I didn't, I just didn't think of that. Then you're just going to tap your glitter back into your crease and back in the jar and see there's hard, there's hardly anything left on there, just a little bit of a remnant. Then you put your top on, make sure it's shut, and you're good to go. And then I'm just going to step away really quick because the one thing um, you can do, which I used to do when I was glittering all the time in mass production, I used to have cookie sheets of all of my um, fussy cuts out, and I would just go through and, and glitter, glitter, glitter all night. 
Um, you could have a jar of water and just put your brush in there and it will come off. But don't let the glue sit on here because then you lose you lose the little hairs of your brush and it just makes a mess. So I'm going to step away. I'm going to clean this and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get started. These are all these are all dry now, okay? And they're all set and ready to go. I let's see. This is the bigger one. So you want to make sure if you do snowflakes that um, you do the correct sizes for each one. This is a smaller one. Gosh, I hope I didn't. Uh, yeah, okay, this is it. They looked a little different in size, but we're good to go there. Okay, so these are the two that we're going to be using. I'm going to put them right there. Okay, so, um, so let's work on, well, I guess we could do, we could do the uh, postcard first. We'll get that done. Volumes of Good Wishes, and this is Lexington Avenue, um, going to Miss Florence, looks like Deitman, 1441 Lexington Avenue, New York, New York. Best wishes for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Catherine. Okay. All right, so I think I'm just going to use this as an example, but I think I'm going to put it in here like this. So I will be putting these on here like this, okay? But so what we'll do is we're going to set this aside just to make sure. We'll put that up there. Okay, so you do not need, if you do not have a bingo card, don't sweat it. Um, if you have other types of ephemera this is 12 inches by 4 inches wide you can use um, take a 12 by 12 scrapbooking piece of paper and you can um, work it work it work it work it however you want to now if I remember correctly I believe that I just went and I just brought my sheet up like this um, and I just folded it down below this is where it gets a little a little tricky here um, so I think we'll fold it right about here and then we're going to fold it down such as this. Right about there. And this should measure, hopefully. Okay, yeah, three inches. Three inches. And I did cut this here. So this has already been cut because it was left over from this one here. So this is three by four. Um, if you do have this style bingo card, don't worry about it um, because we'll be you'll be running um, washi tape along here. So these are very easy to do. So you would take your 12 by 4 and you could actually fold it wherever you want to. It just works out that I'm folding it um, three inches up. So there can be different variations of this. Um, and I didn't bother to glue any of this here um, because I'm using the washi tape. So I'm putting this on first and then the washi tape will go over this. I feel like my nozzle is getting clogged again. Which makes it a little it makes it a little difficult but and if you want to glue your sides down you can I've chosen not to um, only for the fact that I want to make sure I have plenty of room to tuck something inside here so I do have I mean I have plenty of room here um, if you want to, you can 
take a little a little dab of glue but I'm not because if you if you do that you may just um, prohibit um, that little bit of extra room you might need so I have these three washies here I used the happy holidays on this one here I think I may um, maybe I will use I kind of like the stripe um, I think I will use just make sure you use a washi tape that is um, wide enough to cover the front and the back So by using the stripe here, it kind of reminds me of a, a peppermint stick. <coughs> Excuse me. Just trim it off a little. And again, it doesn't matter to me if a little bit of that, that blue shows up along here. <coughs> oh dear. So I'm wondering if maybe, maybe I'll put this on the bottom. And you can see here on this one, it shows a little bit, but that's okay. Again, I don't, I really don't mind. And then for the back, I'm going to, because this is very thin, um, these are very thin bingo card papers. I mean, you can see how thin it is, um, I'm adding, like I did on this back side here, I'm adding this to the back just to beef it up a little bit. And then if I want to, um, if I want to add, you know, a paper written out, if I want to journal on this, I can, that's not my idea. I'm going to actually just be attaching this onto my page. Um, but I still want to have that little extra heft to it. So what do we say? This is four, right? Just these are just about a little four and a quarter. So and then we've got what do we have here? We have um, just about just shy of five and three quarters. I just kind of eyeball this stuff. And I'll take just a little, no, I think that'll be good. That'll fit, because we're also gonna do washi on the top here. Okie dokie. I have other projects. I was talking to my girlfriend today and she asked if I had any big projects going on for the holidays. Um, wanted to know what I was doing as far as paper. I told her I have nothing in the works. Um, I feel like I'm behind the eight ball. And um, I have to... I'm making my daughter-in-law um, some Christmas crafts, and I want to make my girlfriend a decoupaged box. Um, so I'm just going to really have to put the metal to the pedal here, or the pedal to the metal, and get moving on all this stuff. Okay, so this... Um, washi tape here. Where's that little? This is a really pretty one. I may use this on the top again. Um, this is just berries and um, 
some poinsettias, and I just think this is really pretty. So we're going to put this right about here. Tuck this over and snip it off. Okay, so there is our base. Um, and if you wanted to, you could, if you didn't want the bingo number showing here, I just think it looks kind of cool. I think it just looks kind of cool to put it in your book like this. Um, you don't need to tuck your card in there straight away. Um, I may just put it in there like that and then put something else in there. Um, I just think it's a really, I just think it's a really cool look. Okay, so the washi can be put away. And what I grabbed for the front for this one, I have um, a Tim Holtz little calendar piece here. And I'm going to distress and get these all marked up, inked up. So I have that. I thought about putting that right about there. I think it looks just kind of cool to have the bottom showing here. Move it over a little bit. Um, I also, again, because I haven't cleaned my desk off and I still have all my die cuts and my scraps, I plan on using this and I have this, another Tim Holtz. Um, looks like a little book, Gems from Holmes, um, which I'm not quite sure what that's all about. And then I have a joyous Christmas, which I really like this wreath. Um, and you're saying, where is she going to put all this stuff? Then I have two groups of berries. All right, I may do a third. So I have these that we're going to put on. And then I have a little 25, like this one here. And I have this fun little um, squiggly from leftover die cuts. And then I have this sweet little family here um, with their little girl. So we are going to arrange these on the front. And I really like, um, you know, having things hang over the edge. I just think it gives a little bit more uh, dimension. So with this one, um, I would like to put my joyous Christmas up here here in this area um i want to have the family i'm thinking of maybe possibly because i don't want to I'd like to have them around here like this um i just have to see how far up i want this joyous that's kind of hard to say joyous christmas um I thought I would put this here. And then we're going to, I thought maybe I could put this here to highlight this sweet little girl. Um, I could also put it down here, something like this. Maybe something like that. And then I have the berries here, which I just have to see. Um, which way I want these going like that. And then I do have another. I'm going to have to make more of these because lots of times I'll, I'll do these dies and I find that I just, I really, really, really like using them. I put that there. And then we have this, which I thought maybe, just maybe, we could put that there. And then I would put then I'm covering this all up 
Um, but I guess that would be, maybe that would be okay. Put the 25 here, something like that. Um, well, we can play around with that, um, but I do know that I do want to have the calendar. That's July, January, February. Let me try this without the calendar. Maybe I should put that up here like this. That. Leave that calendar right off. And then I could feature, I could feature this down around here like this. Because I would like that to show. So I think I'll do that. I'm going to take the calendar away. Then I can feature, like I said, I can feature um, these items here. Maybe even bring these over, over in this section here. Maybe something like that. Then we can get maybe that in there like that, and then we could hang the 25 off of that little end. So I think I like that better. Um, I just have to remember. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this like this right here. That way I'll know. So we're going to get this. Let's get this up here first. So once again, you get something in your mind. And... Um, it ends up being something totally, totally different. And that's okay. Okay, so I'll put that there. And then I do want, I can like that. I would like to have, I'd like to have this like that. So what I'm going to do is I will be gluing her. I'm going to run some glue right here. So I have that placement because I want that little bit of a bow coming around on her. And then I can place this all down. Say like that, okay? And I think I'm only going to do from here down to start because I can't go too far up remember because we have the space here to tuck the um, postcard in and I want him lined up just about like that okay so we have them down then I can come over on the side here and I can put just a little bit of glue there. I do not want to glue this whole thing down because remember your um, postcard or any other ephemera, uh, maybe a special Christmas letter. Maybe you want to leave these in your junk journal as, it, as is. And if um, you get a special card from your son or daughter um, or your granddaughter, um, your husband, you know, they write you maybe a little note and stick it in your stocking stuff, or you can actually put it in this pocket here. All right, so we have that. And now we're going to come back over here and we're going to get this down and around down in here. I really don't want to cover up his hand, his little finger here. Um, his glove and that is 
glued down. So I will just leave this. So when you have, when I have something like this, I just look to see, um, do I want to feature this? Do I want the larger part? I think that would be good right there. Um, I just want to see how it's going to measure up when I go to put it down the, the best place. So maybe we'll try this one right here like this. Okay. And then Maybe what I'll do is, because I want to tuck these behind this, so, and I want to have this 25 hanging off of here. Actually, make it appear that it's hanging off of here. I am going to put a brad in it. So maybe what I will do Maybe I will do it like this as well, because if I put that brad in it, I think that would be good. Um, you have to remember, you can't put your brad, you could put your brad all the way through. Um, because if it is being glued down onto your book, nobody's going to see it. So I guess I really don't have to worry about that, do I? Maybe put that like that off center a little bit. Okay. And then we can add these maybe around the side here. So let's let's just pick a spot and we will put this down. Because you got to start somewhere, right? I'll keep that quite off center just to okay we're gonna put this here so let me get I want to use a white brad these are the little brads um, these are little chipboard pieces and these are brad. I'm going to use a I guess I'm going to use a white one again because um, I do want it to stand out these are cartabella these are old um, these actually came in a kit I believe um, but they're a very Merry Christmas. I don't know if you can still purchase these or not. Some of my favorite brads I can't purchase anymore. And that was silly of me because you can't, so here's a good way to, um, you can't, I can't put this through the whole way. See that? Because if I do, then I'm not going to be able to put my I'm not going to be able to put my card in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this. Let's see if I can just stick this through here. And then I can bend these down. And then I can make it look as though it's going through the, the other side. There we go. And then I will just... Um, Maybe I will put a pop dot. I'm going to put a little couple pop dots on that. And then it'll be even easier to tuck these cute little um, items on there. And I think this will work out just fine. And then I can say, well, that's, I wanted to do that all along. So we have these our little pop dots, which will be good because I can put the pop dots on the little brad here if I can get it off my finger. And then that'll, that will also hold this into place, hold them into place and it won't, it won't move around. Okay. All right. So we have that.
So you'll have to let me know in the comments if you have started um, any Christmas goodies. I'm sure you've started your a journal. But I think I'm going to make just a lot of ephemera this year because I have journals already made up. And then we can just add the ephemera into the journals. And then next year I can make some new journals. But I may do a, a Christmas in July. And then that kind of takes the pressure. That takes the pressure off of... Um, having to do everything this time of year as well because there's enough pressure that we're that we put ourselves under um, and we certainly don't need any more pressure so I think I will I think I will do it like that yeah I like that that's good so let's get this one. Oh dear. That's Daisy again. Poor little Daisy. I had a I had a business meeting today with our accountants and our whole team. And um she's been acting like she has an ear infection and she, Sure enough, I called the vet, got her in, and because she's a doodle, um, they grow hair in their ears like poodles do, and that hair is supposed to be plucked. Well, my groomer won't pluck it because she says when we pluck it, there's a good chance of infection, blah, 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 blah. Well, little Daisy May has not had her ears plucked in, I don't know, for how long, and she has infections in both ears <laughs> so I took her and the vet plucked her ears and she's got eardrops for seven days and but what I didn't know is um my doctor told me she says you know if she's still rubbing her ears and rolling around give her two Benadryl I had no idea I could give my baby girls Benadryl but she said yep you can give them Benadryl. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I did, in fact, give her a Benadryl when we got home because she's she's all over the carpet. Rubbing her ears, poor little baby girl. Okay. So there is our pocket. I think it's really cute, super cute. We are going to put the... Um, postcard back in this one the original one and then this one here we are going to um, because I think this will be sweet right in there with the we're going to add our um, glittery very pretty glittery snowflakes that will act as little tags so I'm going to pull these pull them in and out So we're going to add that one. Let's see. This one's a little bit different. I'm going to add this one right, right about here. Yeah, I got to glitter some more stuff up because this just looks so pretty. And we, I'm, now I'm going to do this on the back side. Um, I'm going to save that because I do not need to put the glitter on the back side. So let me see if I have a plain one. And I'm going to use a plain one. I'm going to save these for two other pieces of ephemera. And I'm going to put the plain one on the back side. Just because we don't need uh, a glitter, glittery one on the back side. Cause it'll be up against the paper and you won't see it and this your second one you have to do the entire um, snowflake because remember you have to attach it onto this one here and onto the bottom part 
of the postcard. So don't think you just have to do that there. Okay, excuse me. One minute. Okay. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Stokie dokie. I am stoked. So there is, I'm going to set these aside. There is our sweet little postcard. And I'm not going to do on anything on the back of these postcards because I think they're just fun to see the handwriting where they're going to. This is also 1912. Um, so that will tuck right down into there. And we have two very sweet pockets um, for my junk journal. And if you make them for your junk journal, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I think these came out really cute. They're super easy. Um, the Tim Holtz ephemera, these, this is all from last year and the year before. I didn't buy any of his new ephemera. I know he has um, new Christmas folks out and a lot of other a lot of other little ephemera pieces, but I have so much left over from him. I just don't, I really, really am trying to use up what I have. So if you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments, what you think about both of these. And um, we will, down the road in December, we'll be putting these in my journal. So have a great, great day, my crafty friends. And I will see you in my next video. Alrighty, bye-bye.